Hopefully so far this week you have found a place that is your sanctuary, to where you and God would just have some time alone. And hopefully this week you've started to look at the way that you're living. Yesterday I shared with you a story about a friend of mine by the name of Rick Caterley. And one of my favorite stories about him is that each week we would go in at halftime and we would look at the different defenses and the things that were taking place on the football field. And I just did not see what he saw. And so he would share with me how it took him 30 plus years of coaching to get to that position. So he would come out of the locker room after halftime and he would say, did you see it? And I would say no. And he would ask me the next week, did you see it? And I would say no. And then one week it clicked. And when he asked me, did you see it? I said, yeah, I saw it. And he just smiled and shook his head and kept right on going. See, part of living the way means it will take time and it will take effort. It has to have a willingness behind what we do. And we have to be the ones who decide to pass that on. October 16th, 2011 is a day that, well, when I look back upon it, was a day that completely surprised me because it was on that day that Rick Caterley passed away. No one saw it coming, but suddenly it happened. And as you can see, the tombstone is a football. It's part of who Rick was. Not everything that he was, but part of who he was. He was here to help the young people and to live in such a way that you knew that there was something special about him. And the same something special about him is the same something special that those that are disciples of Christ had throughout time. And as you can see on his tombstone, Rick has his birth date and the day that he passed away. But on the opposite side, you see his wife's name. Now, his wife and his children, obviously they live with this every single day but they also have a choice. And I can share with you that they choose to live in such a way to separate themselves for that same Savior. Would you ask yourself today, are you living in such a way that other people can see that difference? Because sooner or later, this is the same place that we are going to end up. Because this is the time and the place that is temporary. And we choose the way in which we live before we head to the eternal. Think about that and we'll see you tomorrow.